Hello everyone, it's Cassie from Gun Grooming and today we're going to be grooming an uneasy or difficult Shih Tzu today. So keep watching. So Buddy here is a Shih Tzu who can be difficult, uneasy, and there's different ways and maneuvers of how to do different types of dogs with different types of personalities. Some are drugs, some are not. And we're gonna show you different ways of how to do this that may be safest for yourself and as well for the dog so that nobody's getting hurt. So before we get him in the tub, we're gonna do a pre-cut on him. And with a lot of aggressive dogs, I have seen that with medication. As soon as they get a bath, it is 10 times more difficult to groom them after the bath because they feel better. <gasps> All right, so before Bunny got here, his owner gave him a walk outside and this is wonderful to help him exert some of the energy that he may have in him because on the table, they're gonna fight, but the more that they get all their energy out, the less that they're likely to fight. Please do not try this at home unless you are a professional. And let's continue. This is one of Buddy's friends, Lisa. He really liked her last time. You wanna keep calm. You don't wanna be frustrated because the more emotions that you have, the more that the dog can pick up on it. Lisa is very calm and collected as well as I am. We're gonna keep mind and make sure that he's not going to go and try to bite us. So constant phrases, positivity, and what we call having a cheerleader. So having a cheerleader nearby with a dog that may be a little difficult or uneasy will really help the dog calm through the grooming. And he's gonna be very touchy with his feet and his legs. So we're gonna do that later. I'm gonna hold this here because he's gonna to wanna to turn and say, no, Lisa, you're not allowed to do this. And we're just gonna keep him. You're okay. It's all right, bud. Yeah, I just wanna get him back into, watch your hands real quick. I'm gonna pop him up. Atta boy, good boy. So in a second, I'm, I think we're gonna use the cone. Yeah. A lot of times they're just gonna be sensitive around their feet and their legs, and it happens. Some dogs don't like grooming, but just calming them down really, really helps them. So with every single dog is different. Every personality is different. Every case is different. So a lot of groomers, they tend to decline them rather than work on them and work through the grooming. So this cone here is not gonna hurt him. It's just going to help us do some certain parts on him. So when he does turn, he can't go and try to bite. Let's keep going. Just ignore what he's doing and keep going. Not a good boy, bud. You're doing a great job. Easy. Just keep going. He's okay. It's all right. You want me to take over? Oh, oh, feeling like that. Okay, okay. 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 You want to just keep very calm. You want to keep your demeanor because the more emotions that you show, the more he's going to pick up on, and then it just makes the grooming 10 times more difficult. Okay. It's all right, buddy. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Yeah. I know. It's all right. It's okay. Good boy. Good boy. So usually with dogs like this, what they do is they put up a fight. They kick and scream just like a child in a store saying, I don't wanna, I don't wanna. So if he's gonna wiggle around, I'm gonna keep him in the same position so that we can continue. And then he learns that we're not gonna give in. It's all right. So we're gonna do nails and feet. I know, bud. I know, sweet pea. It's okay, I'm gonna go really fast. You're good, bud. It's okay. He's gonna give issues with uh, his front paw. 
Okay, okay, okay. I know, sweet pea. So we're gonna go a different way. So we're not choking him, and there's a couple different maneuvers that I'm gonna use with him, but this maneuver is seeming to, good boy, work with him because last time I tried to put my arm around like this, he didn't like all that closure. So we're just gonna do from this way. Good boy. Good boy, buddy. Good boy. Good job. Because as before, he was wiggling around as I went like this. Oh, See yeah. that? So we're just going to do different maneuvers like we spoke about earlier. So doing this type of maneuver, look at that. That worked for him. Doing this type of maneuver works for him. But as soon as I go like this and grab the foot, that's when he'll start going a little, a little gray gray. And that's okay. That's just some of the maneuvers and different ways that we can do it. So a lot of groomers, they like to decline the dogs rather than help them and guide them through the grooming. And that's what we're doing with Buddy. We're showing him how this can be positive and nothing negative. Gotta figure out what works for him. That's right. Good boy. Good job. Look at you. Wonderful! Yeah, the calmness, the way that you present yourself for some of these dogs. And I have some of these dogs that'll be all over the table. I don't want you falling off the table. Yeah, because after the bath, this is, um, the bath usually rejuvenates them. I know I've said it like a million times, but sometimes yeah, when yeah, I... Yeah, as long as they get out of the bath, they get the zoomies all the time, so yeah. Yeah. And it feels better. You ever been sick? And then you yeah. go and take a shower. Oh my gosh. And it feels so much better just to clean. That's what it is for dogs. And right now he's doing absolutely wonderful. That's why I like to cut him down before I get him in the bath so that I can keep this up. Do as much as possible. And do as much as possible. And I can tell by holding his arm with my left hand that it's like, a, it's a little limp. And that's something that I do want to still have with him because that means that his trust is there. But he's doing great. And we're gonna take the cone off of him in just a second. I know that. Now I see it. He wants to bite the cookie. Yeah. It's all right, bud. Easy. Easy, bud. There's your girlfriend. You like her. It's a good boy. You're fine. Look how he is. Yay. All right, so we've already pre-shaved him. We did his feet. He got his bath and a blow dry. So the reason why I do that is a lot of times after the bath, now he has so much more energy. So we're gonna work with him and Lisa's working with another dog. So I'm going to show you guys how to do this alone with them and hopefully he'll cooperate. And if he doesn't, there's always ways of um, different maneuvers that we're gonna be using with him. Are you ready? A lot of groomers will do a groomer's helper. I have it hooked up differently and every groomer is different. So we're gonna work on doing some finishing touches of him. He's hooked up so even if he turns, um, he's not going to even bite me. See how he just turned? So as my demeanor is, I have to stay calm because I can't feed into what he's trying to do. Sorry. Right. Ooh, I heard that chomp, man. So we are, we're gonna go as easily as possible. The way I have my scissors is going downward. The reason why is if he turns, I don't want to stab him with my scissors mm. or myself. Good tip. If you react to their reaction, the dog feeds off of that and will keep doing it. Try your hardest not to react to their reaction. Don't get emotional. Exactly. <laughs> don't get emotional. I'm just gonna give him that warning of like, hey, I'm gonna be on this side. He said no. <laughs> so right now he's not able to. 
Now keep in mind, as a groomer, I'm doing this, I am professional, I've been doing this for 11 years, there's different ways and maneuvers of how to do this, and we know how to do this safely. You can do it this method, you can put a muzzle on them if you want, in my opinion, I just want to try to do what's best for them and try to make them realize that I'm not here to hurt them. I'm here to make this grooming go by as smoothly as possible without any injury or default, right? And he's been here three times and I'm so proud of him of the levels that he has really accomplished here. But we want to praise him for doing the positive and not the negative. So let's say that he was lashing out or acting inappropriately and you say, oh, good boy, good boy. That dog therefore learns that good boy when they lash out is a good thing or a positive thing. So you don't want to do that. So we want to praise him when it's positive and he's being a good boy, not when it's negative. So I also do have my comb here. So if I'm going to go up front, and he's gonna turn, I can have my guard, and if he bites something and he bites the brush, it's not gonna hurt him. I'm just giving him a little bit of a warning, saying, hey, I'm gonna come back here. I know, sweet pain. So yes, a lot of groomers will say, yeah, I'm gonna put a muzzle on him right now. You can. I'm not a fan of it. Very, very, very rarely use a muzzle. Yeah, I really don't use a muzzle that often. And you're like, Three times that but I am going to use a muzzle when it comes closer to his face. So now I'm going to take my hand here and I'll be able to sense that and stop grooming and pull away if he tries to bite. Good boy. And that's when you want to praise. The more you do this, the more that they learn what's good and what's bad. So when it comes to the front of him, he will be giving me an issue. Good boy, bud. Good boy. So what I want to make sure with this muscle that we just put on is nothing is digging into his eyes and he is safe. So now we're going to do the same maneuver that we did later and pull him backward. And I'm going to lightly, lightly take his paw. Okay, good boy. Good boy. And see how that easement into it, he didn't like it at first. But at the same time, he allowed me to continue. We're going to get, I know, sweet pea, I know, but I know, I know, I know, I know, it's okay. And that's why I like to give a dog a bath after we've already shaved them down because now they feel a little bit more rejuvenated. Okay, so I'm gonna take my, I know. And he's got the muzzle on. I know, sweet pea. All right, let me put this here. Okay? Shh. 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 Just trust me. That a boy. Good boy. Therefore, I've gained that trust. So, I'm going to switch my scissors because I do have to go upward on his paw, but I also. Um, I don't want any injury. So me taking a smaller scissor with a ball tip point on it, it's less likely to do a stabbing as where as the other ones will. Now we're gonna move on to the other paw. And I'm gonna do the same maneuver that I did the other side. I know, I know, I know. boy but yeah do you see the difference in energy of before the bath and after the bath like now he's got 10 times more to yeah, give I know <laughs> there we go I know so his muzzle came off which does happen but it got stuck in one of his nails so we're just going to reattach his muzzle and he's fine with that we're almost done though we have to do your head and your face and that's it that's it It's okay. It's okay. I am not here. I'm not here to hurt you. I'm not here to hurt you. Hey. You're okay. You're all right. It's okay. You're doing wonderful. 
Can you stand up for me? Thank you. Okay. Dun, da, da, da. So taking the comb and putting it underneath his muzzle is just going to help me and him both achieve the grooming. So we're just gonna be very careful. We don't want that tongue to stick out, okay? Good boy. So the comb and the other comb are working as a tool for me not to get bit. Now, a lot of dogs are gonna be different. You might have a dog that you can't do this with. And with that process, you wanna keep going. You wanna keep trying. You can't just give up. I know. I know. Good boy. So we're just going to make sure, keep your eyes on his mouth the entire time because you don't want him to stick out his tongue. Oh, it's always chaos in the store, isn't it? So when it comes to these type of dogs, groomers, please don't give them any medication. Please don't give them any drugs. Have the owner do it as prescribed from their vet. All right, look at this good little boy. So this here is Buddy, and he's a very difficult and uneasy dog to do at times. So I wanna thank you for watching, and if you have any questions, feel free to ask. I will see you guys in the next video. When it comes to these, that <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna have to get